Hey, it's showtime! Showtime! At cigar time! Are we rolling? Oh, welcome back. <laughs> How's that? Wow. I like it. It's different. Yeah, that was yeah, good. Yeah, it's fine. I like oh, the one. Actually, I like the old one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get to vote him off the island? Yes. Yeah, it's good. his turn Let's to come on. Goodbye. Where are we? We're at cigar time. Welcome right. back. We are. I said that, didn't I? You did. Okay. Right. Sorry. We appreciate you. Paul's cheating. Uh -oh. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> he's just excited. It's cigar time, show time. I know, I'm excited because I need to smoke another cigar. <laughs> wow. Okay. He just got done with a jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I always look like that. <laughs> hey, you know something? A few weeks back, we had a personality on who also enjoys a fine cigar, and we'd like to invite any of you. If you have an odd vocation, or you're well known in the <laughs> local area, or nationally, or wherever our signal reaches. Somewhere you, more than in your own mind, though. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to have some claim to fame. Not notorious, please. Or if you know somebody uh, else. <laughs> contact us at Cigars. <laughs> you know, our website is cccigars.com. That's cccigars.com. That's and tell us, email us, and let us know why you'd like to be on the show. Join the join the panel, review cigars. You'll get all your cigars for free that day only. The one uh, you just mean the one. It's frugal. Yeah, it's it's frugal. frugal. Here we go. Stop with the frugal. Here we go. No, but we'd, we'd, we'd like to start inviting you all on the show. Not all at one time, mind you, but one at a time. Tell us, write us, and let us know why you'd like to be on the show. Should have a live studio on it. Yeah, we have a live studio we've audience. Had, we've had Let us know, studio, studio yeah. audience. Yeah! See? Yeah. It's a massive audience. And that wasn't we, dubbed in. <laughs> <laughs> and we could maybe, some of the people that want to be on the show could wind up just being in the studio audience. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's cool. And you'll be sure. professionally made up, and your hair will be nicely done. We have, we have hair and makeup crew? Yeah, of really? course. Yeah, you'll do I it. I need some. <laughs> you'll do it. Oh, you'll do it. Trailer. T you will make you up and, oh. and fix your hair and quaff you I and get whatever else. Too. And, 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 and stick quaff you. Quaff you. Quaff uh, you. <laughs> All right, we're completely, we're completely out of control here. Support your uh, local, uh, your lovely Miss T will tell us about our cigar today. Of our cigar today is San Latano Habano. The wrapper is a Brazilian grown Habano. The binder is Nicaraguan. And the filler are three different types. Nicaraguan, Honduran, <laughs> and, <laughs> and Dominican. No, I was gonna, very good. No, I was going to write Honduran on there. <laughs> oh, oh, you should have. I would have said it, though. Oh, the sides wow. are Churchill Gordo, Lancero, or Penatella and a Robusto. Cool. And the taste profile is wood. That's what Rob likes, the wood. wood leather. He likes, wood. He, likes to get, <laughs> he likes to get wood with his cigar. <laughs> I just want to point out though. that it's Cuban right. seed, a uh, Lajero wrapper grown only in Brazil by the Fuego family. Fuego. And uh, Rob, what are we doing now? Uh, we are cutting, on our, cutting and lighting our cigars with the official cutter and lighter of Cigar Time. Which the, is? A loom lighter and the Zycar cutters. So. And they're official sponsors, right? They are. As official opposed sponsor. to unofficial sponsors. Right. What's an unofficial sponsor? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> like a, oh, this is an operator. Anybody have a lighter error. with fuel in it? Mm -hmm. This is definitely an operator error right here. I did not punch it as hard as I'd like. <laughs> I'm sure. You like to punch it hard, don't you? I do. She likes to hit that. <laughs> we mentioned San Lantano on one of our previous shows that used to be a Cuban brand. And uh, it was started by AJ's uh, grandfather yep. in uh, San Luis, Cuba. And he revived it in 2010. That's when these first hit the market. You ever notice how Habano wrappers have a distinctive smell? Like as soon as you light up, you can just smell that it's Habano. Yeah. No. no. I, I do. It does. I trust you. I believe it. Okay. Never noticed. Pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Scott, what is your initial impression of the scar? This is my favorite San Lantano. Oh, uh, it's too early for that, but yes. uh, let's see. Uh, early. Mm, real good. <laughs> <laughs> that Scott, was, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say it better. That was really illuminating. That was um, very illuminating. This one I'm With getting, a bulb with no filament getting a in it. lot of spice on the retro ale. Yeah. Um, Smooth and it's very, 
very flavorful up front. Paul? Uh, Paul's too busy getting wood. The host is. I am getting wood. This is... <laughs> oh, my God. You know, God. I, I like every cigar that A.J. Fernandez makes, and yet I still think I like this one more than any of them. Wow. The, it's got mm -hmm. so much flavor. It's got a ton of spice. But it's still, it's not a heavy, harsh, kick your face cigar. It's, it's just a northern side of medium, I would say, based on the first few hails. Yep. Yep. I love it. Um, I think this wrapper is creamy. I don't think it's like the traditional Habano where it's spicy. Um, I don't get any spice right now, and I don't know how to retro hail, so it's probably why I'm not getting it. Probably but um, I get, I, <laughs> what'd you say? Probably you light, light it. it. I did light <laughs> it. Sunk it in. I did. Take it halfway. I, I and think I think this is very I think this is very, think this is very oh, creamy. Okay. Why? Which is why Paul's saying that it's not you know the spiciness is not so, um, it's not so in your face. It's you know? one of the the characteristics of a good yeah. Habano is mm -hmm. that it's creamy, a tiny bit sweet yep. and spicy all at the same time. Same time, it's all working together. Yep. Wow, yeah, this is a great blind. I have to agree. Um, I'm getting um, some chocolate taste uh, in the beginning. Uh, it is sneaky spicy when you retro ale. Yeah. Um, so. Just stick this rubbing it's, it in. It's, it's really good. There is a, a boatload of taste in the beginning. Yeah. Like, like Paul said. So. Well, I would say, for me, I got a load of spice on the retro ale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I thought so too. Yeah, a load of it. And I'm definitely getting the leathery, not so much sweet, but leathery taste. I mean, this has a lot of flavor to it. This is this is a mm -hmm. cigar that's complex. It, it delivers all kinds of different flavors on the tongue. It's got a lot going on. The spice, on. It has a lot you know, it's almost on. like an after spice. Like I'm getting the spice on the af on the on the finish. Wow. Getting so the like spice. See, that's an, it's an interesting thing. That's when yeah. I get the sweet. After I've blown okay. the smoke out, mm -hmm. I just taste a little little yeah. hint of sweetness to it. Yeah, right in the middle yeah. of your tongue. Yep. I'm guessing just by this last this last inhale that it's going to get a little sweet because it, it, to me it's turning a little bit sweet. Really feels yeah, taste yeah. good on the tongue though. You know, yeah. in, in general, Habano wrappers have become amongst the most popular yeah. in the yes. business, but they what you yeah. don't see a lot of is Brazilian grown mm -hmm. Habano. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a rarity. That's a great tobacco yeah. too. Yep. I Actually, love no. that tobacco. I mean, that imparts a different taste altogether. Yep. What's the Brazilian part of the Habano? No, the Brazilian, Brazilian Habana. Brazilian, yeah, definitely does. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely does. It's well, a Paul, boatload uh, of smoke, too. Tons of smoke. Yeah, we do have a ton of smoke. It all floats here, up. Right? It's a boatload? It Where's the boat? It all floats it's up. Floating. All the smoke floats <laughs> up. <laughs> 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 you ever notice that? Hmm? You ever notice that? What's that? The cigar smoke, it always floats up. Well, there's a reason. Well, where's it supposed it's to go? Hot rice. Hot air rice. Scott should know that really well. So I'm guessing deep, deep thoughts. I'm guessing, yeah. I'm guessing a, a lot of the words we talk about on the show do float up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of hot, hot air. air. I think Paul should get to what he's wanted to talk about. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do I want to talk about something? Yeah. Sure you you know, we get a question on the on the website very often. Put your hand down. Thank you. <laughs> and I think. <laughs> Okay, Dad. <laughs> I think this you is... Know, you've learned nothing in the last year <laughs> of the show. You can't look at not, the camera. If it's, the not, if the it's not about oh, cigars, oh, oh, I don't, oh, I'm looking camera, right at the it. Camera, I'm, looking, I'm looking right at it. You've learned nothing about blocking or anything like that? If, if it's not about <laughs> cigars, I don't know about it. That's true. I can vouch for that. However, we do get a lot of questions on the website. And one question pops up maybe more than any other. And that is, why, what are you doing this show? why <laughs> am I doing this? Can I just go away? Um, but other than that. Far, far, far. I don't think you got that email. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from you all nine times. Um, the, what people want to know is, what non Cuban cigar do you smoke that most reminds you of Cubans? And I think it's a great question because we all have Cubans that we love and we all have non Cubans that we love. I disagree but, with you. I disagree. Because I think a lot of our audience has thing. never smoked a really <laughs> good it's Cuban. Like. Because the Cubans of the last 20 years are, you know, hit and miss, come see, come saw. I don't think a lot of people are old enough to have really enjoyed 
the Cubans of the 60s and 70s. Of the golden era. The golden era, yeah. Yes, but this, the question still is there about the cigars that they have had now. Since right. we can't offer them a golden era Cuban, oh, what we can do I is talk know. about non-Cubans that Ooh. we think yeah. so deliver that yeah. golden era kind Cuban. of experience. Definitely. I'd like go to on. go. So you're asking us to... To, I'm, talk I'm, about, to talk about yeah, a non-Cuban like cigar that reminds you more than any well, other. Well, I got Cuban. mine for sure. I got mine. That's easy for me. I well, me. take it away, guys. I, I right. asked the well, questions. I, think, I don't um, have any there's, well, for me, there's two. And we no, actually, only one. Cause come on. You only get one. You only get one. Because you say mine, you're in trouble. Yeah. You don't say mine. Everybody's going to say the same thing. All right. All right. Dang, that's not fair. Okay. I'll say the Willie Herrera Stelly that we already smoked earlier. Yes, very Cubanist. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> that's her opinion. Yes. I know. I'm kidding. He's kidding. He knows it is. Right, I should go it next. Is. So what about no, what about? I should go next. You no, usurp should. anybody's ability. No, 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 no. What well, about it makes no, you not. think of Cube? Um, I think it's the way. I think it's the flavors in that cigar. Definitely work together. Um, when I had, I only had a couple Cubans, so I'm not very, in, you know, knowledgeable about Cubans like you guys are. But I get, I get a lot of earthy in the Willie Herrera, and I think that's reminiscent of the Cubanesque like style because of their soil and and things like that. So that's okay. why I say it. Okay, Rob, step on step on my <laughs> step cigar. On, Go ahead. Step, step on, on absolutely, the I am absolutely going to step on Art's Go cigar. It is the Padron Three Thousand Maduro. Absolutely. You stole all of ours. Yeah. That no, was well, your other one, right there? Uh, no, my other one was Hoyo de Nicaragua. All right, you're going to say okay. it then. Padron 3000 <laughs> Maduro is absolutely the closest cigar to a Cuban you can get, I in my opinion. Talk about what flavor. It's a very earthy, dirt, manure taste. It's earthy, very dirt, good. Manure. I've never had it manure. Is. I've never tasted it. Those, are, those are things that are used I, to yeah. define good I, Cuban. I, I, absolutely. Need, I need to clarify that. Not necessarily in that order. Right, exactly. And that's the, the taste I get. Is manure. It's very, very good. I've never tasted menorah. So. You haven't tasted one of my moose dropping cigars? No. You never went cow tipping? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get it. Yeah, I didn't get a knife and fork with me. <laughs> <laughs> when I lived in Wisconsin, we did cow tipping. A lot of cow chipping. <laughs> Paul? Holy cow. No, I'm not next. You're next. Yeah, no, you're next. I'm last. Oh. Moderator always goes last. Uh, yeah, Scott. Okay. Me? Well, I, you know, I, I, I thought about this a lot. I'll bet. <laughs> Since it's your question, at yeah. least 15 or 20 seconds. <laughs> uh, actually, I agree with Tia's second choice. The Hoyo, I think the Hoyo de Nicaragua, Antonio, mm -hmm. 1970. Just everything about it, and, mm -hmm. and one thing in particular. When I think of a Cuban cigar, I think of two flavors that you just rarely find together. And that's a little bit fruity and spicy at the same time. And you just don't encounter that combination much. And in that cigar, I found that combination. Mm -hmm. Rob's a little fruity. Scott? That's not a fact. <laughs> well, there it is right there. It's a little not, fruity and a little spicy. <laughs> Mine ah! is not a fact. <laughs> not Mine a fact is at the all. Padron 3000 Maduro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I've got, all right, since Rob What's your backup? My, my, I have two backups. One is the... Oh, wait, you, you, only get one. One. you only get one. You only get one bite at the apple. So what's your backup? You howled the tea when she right. wanted to give you a second. Well, she gave it. Well, it's too bad. You're out. <laughs> 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 Mine's going to be... This is going to shock you. It reminds me very much of the Monte Cristo Edmundo, and it is the Panacea uh, Natural. Really? Yes, it reminds me very much of an Edmundo. Panacea? Really? It's got, like like you described, very wow. earthy. It's a little bit of spice and a little bit of vanilla in there. My you other one's the Nordic. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to respect your palate. Yeah, right? Uh, the, Ed the Edmundo, in my opinion, is the best cigar made. Try that. Try the, try the Absolutely. Panacea. Absolutely. Black, natural. Try it. Okay. All right, since everybody stole my cigar, I'm going to say, now, unfortunately, the, the, the cigar is still made, but the blend has been changed over the years. The original St. Louis Rays, without the red band on it, uh -huh. were a powerhouse. And that reminded me, even the fairly current punch, uh, the punch, Cubans are, a, the Bolivars too, they're almost the same cigar, like Hoyo and, and, and Punch. They're very similar. But the original St. Louis Ray in this country, because it's also a Cuban label, 
reminds me of the Cuban punch or Bolivar. They're, they're powerhouses, and back in the day when I was smoking more powerful cigars and enjoying them, those are, those are the cigars that I kind of link together. But I do echo the statements of some of our illustrious panelists Thank evoked you. in the Padrones. The Padrones, yeah. to me, are very close to the old Hoyo de Monterey Cuban taste. Creamy, sweet, like a milkshake. I used to, I, I used to call the Hoyo, the Cuban Hoyo de Monterey Double Corona taste almost like a milkshake. Well, that would be that would be my choice. One thing I, well, I do want to say is, we're comparing them to what we have tasted in Cuban cigars. That in no way makes a Cuban cigar better. No, no not at all. No, I not think, at all. In the last twenty years, it uh, I would say <laughs> most of the cigars in our humidors are better than most Cubans. Yeah, and I would describe I would cigars. describe a difference between a Cuban cigar and like a Nicaraguan. It's just it's just yeah. that it's different. It's the mm -hmm. same as a Dominican tobacco is different yeah. from Nicaraguan. Cuban has its own flavor, as, as Paul described. I don't necessarily think they're better. Now I. I wish I would have had one for back in the, you know, the golden age of Cuban cigars, but... <laughs> well, I have. But then that would make you, like, 60-something. Yeah. What's that? I said, but then that would make you 60-something, so... I am 60-something. Well, <laughs> yeah. at, 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 at this point in the program, <laughs> we'd like to cut away for our last interview with Robbie from A.J. Fernandez. Oh, it is a San Antonio one, isn't it? It is San Antonio, I'm for sure. <laughs> A.J. Fernandez, my So, uh, Robbie, take it away. And we're back with Robbie Streitz from uh, A.J. Fernandez. Um, you know, as retailers, we see boutique cigars from time to time, actually quite often, uh, and a lot of, even the best of them, uh, tend to be one-trick ponies. And I think that in the case of the San Latano line, in the couple of years, three years or so, that we've had San Latano, we've seen the line broaden tremendously so that I would say you're anything but a one-trick pony and I think Robbie it would be great for people to hear about the whole line okay great um, we're not a one-trick pony as you mentioned Paul but we don't overproduce lines as you know because in four or five years we really have about ten different lines that we kind of let you brand in your stores here at Cigar and Cigars and what we have uh, on your shelf, we probably started out with just a couple facings and we're now up to about 22 when I count it. That en encompasses our Requiem, which is three different wrappers, our Oval Line, which is three different wrappers, my Imbi, I think I saw in there, our New World, the Bull, Pinot Laro. So we have broadened our scapes and, and tried different blends, but I don't think we've really overproduced. But we have we've given you a far a, a wide diversity of different cigars so that you can sell to your customers. Okay. Now the you said the Requiem line, yeah. which is what I think people would just consider the basic San Latino. Core, core line. And that comes in three wrappers. Yes, sir. And they are uh, so we have our Habano, which I think you are featuring this yes. month. Yes, this, we are. Which is a it's a Habano seed, Brazilian grown, Lajero wrapper. That one particularly personal for me, Scott, um, Paul, Paul <laughs> is my favorite in our, our line. Scott's the one with no hair. Scott is the one with no hair. I oh, yeah, he's got hair. I didn't get a hat. I don't know how come I didn't get a hat. Well, Paul in the field always has hair. <laughs> they wouldn't recognize me without my hat. That's right. Uh, but the Habano is my favorite because it, it excites me every time I smoke that And cigar. that's a Lajero wrapper, which is very unusual. You don't see a lot of Lajero used as wrapper. Um, I can't think of another one right off the tip of my tongue of anybody that's doing that. So you have the, the Habano, you have a Maduro, and in the Requiem line you have a Connecticut. That's correct. Okay. Ecuadorian Connecticut. It's not a mild Connecticut, though. It does have a lot of flavor body to it, a lot of encompassing strong notes or uh, higher it's notes. A, it's a rich Connecticut cigar. Rich, deep. Um, and then in the Oval line, you have three wrappers as well. Habano. Uh, Habano. Maduro. Maduro and Connecticut. Connecticut. Okay. I personally haven't seen the Connecticut Oval, but I will be looking for it. It does very well. It's a, a big seller for us. It might be even the best seller in the Oval line right now is the Connecticut. That's a little creamier notes to that cigar. It's not as flavor, it, I wouldn't say flavorful, but it's not as strong as the Requiem Connecticut. Okay. So the Oval's got a, a nice, smooth, mild finish to it. Very creamy. 
Creamy is a good thing. Creamy is sometimes a good thing. Not everybody likes higher profiled cigars, so they smoke little lighter, creamier cigars, and that fits this this demographic. Are there things down the road that aren't out there yet that you're able to share with us, at least directionally? I think the Mayimbi, which is our Pennsylvania grown broadleaf, I'm sure that'd be very popular in this area, Pennsylvania grown. It's Amish Pennsylvania grown broadleaf. We're going to release that again next year. Uh, we're very excited about that cigar. And then I think uh, with the New World, we're going to come out with the New World in Connecticut right after the first of the year. Oh, excellent. So same price pr point, same great sleek design in the box. You buy 20, you get 21 cigars. For a retailer, they're nice. They're seven across, three high, so it keeps it very the sleek. The footprint is small. Very small footprint, exactly. It's a beautiful box, though. And, you know, we don't spend a lot of money in that box. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's a great presentation for a seemingly low cost. That's, uh, that's th a great way to go. So you cover the whole country? I cover the whole country. Which means you travel a lot. I travel quite a bit. And I'm guessing you got to leave. So I'm going to thank you very much for coming in. It was a pleasure to meet you and to spend some time. Thank you, Paul. And I want to thank everybody that's a customer of Cigars and Cigars. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks, Robbie. We appreciate that. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks, Thanks, Robbie. Robbie. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much thank for being you. on the show. You know, Art, you were talking about the, uh, the San Louis Ray. Yeah. And the you original might, St. Louis. You might remember that in its day, that was considered the most powerful cigar around. Absolutely. It was. It, it was like in a class by itself oh, it as was. the powerhouse cigar. Well, El Rico Habano back in the day also. Oh, yeah. The that, that, was that, very, that, that, was, really that was a powerhouse, too. I was going to say the 1970s. I thought the, 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 the Hoyas were. Mm. But, was, but they, 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 they mm. were, they, the St. Louis Ray was the first cigar that said we are all about power. Power, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. They're not now, are they? No, that's well, no, right. no, no, no. It's a different blend. No, they stopped making it's a different blend, and people's palates have really moved down evolved, the power yeah, scale. Evolved. I don't think there are that many truly full-bodied cigars. I mean, like, really, you know what, to the wall, full-bodied. Yeah. Well, the Cuban, just, the Cuban Punch and the Cuban Bolivar, Bolivar are still very well, strong let's, cigars. Let's not necessarily, get, but the modern ones are not as balanced. I mean, what's a really what's the strongest cigar that you've had in the last year that's you know that's recently produced? Not something from you know twenty years ago. Because well, they've dumbed down, they've dumbed down the power. Le Fleur. Definitely a Le Some Fleur. of the Le Fleurs. Yeah, I guess mm -hmm. I just don't like, like the chisel. Floor. I was going to well, say the chisel. No, I'm not talking about chisel. whether you like it or not. Yes. just in terms of I don't even find a real all that cigar. That's 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 Actually, the Jaime Garcia is is that's pretty another full body. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I haven't smoked that. That's a powerful cigar. Yeah. Scott, why don't you tell us, uh, it's, it's San Lotano Month, so what are we doing for San Lotano Month? All month long, uh, it's buy five, get two more free, uh, two on us, and if you buy a box, or I'm sorry, I should clarify, if you buy 20, a box of 20, and we're 20 mix and match, we're going to give you eight more for free. So Great. Sounds like a deal to me. get those at the register. Can't beat that. You get those at the, the register, and register. we have events mm -hmm. coming up this weekend. We've got uh, all day long, this is like a, a rarity for us, Freehold in Oxford Valley this Friday, all day, we're going to run uh, extra specials. Wow. Oh, that's on cool. San Latano. On San Latano. Cool. Okay. It's San Latano month. Well, I think, it's time, I think it's time to review our cigar and put a number on it. I think, T, you wanted to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Um, I think this is very complex, like we all said, um, full of flavor. I think this one is kind of like a sneaky... To me, it's to me it's kind of full body. So I think yeah. it's kind of a sneaky full I body. Um, definitely, I'm getting a lot of spice now as I'm in the middle. Um, and I would pair this. You guys are gonna say what? Here we go. I'm gonna pair this, and I say this is an after dinner cigar. So I would pair this with a wine, a German Riesling. I think because it's sweet and light, it would definitely complement the creaminess of the wrapper, and really bring out the flavor. I like your pairings. Thank you. Yeah, but got I a hell of a pair. pair. <laughs> She's got a hell of a pair. Yeah, but the, 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 the no, these are all me. These yeah, but the reason thing I think is a little no, they're all too you. acidic. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you making fun of me? Do you, you have a number to put on this cigar? Uh, later, oh, wait, wait, later, later. Oh, well, wait, I, wait. I, I just want to point out this. Have, have you been on the show? No, but I, 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 I thought looking <laughs> I mean, at the time, we want to kind of I just want to point out it's rated a 94, so very high rating. And CA. Yeah. Rob? 
Um, this is a very complex cigar, like everyone says. I'm getting a, a very chocolatey taste, leathery taste. I'm not getting the wood. I'm getting the spice only through the retro hail. Um, yeah, it sounds like a personal problem. I know. I was gonna say that. Right. <laughs> Absolutely not. You, you guys know, are just way I've, out there. I've been listening to you. We just say it before you have a chance. Yeah, I've been listening this is a to you very, all month, very, right? very, very, <laughs> it's a very, very good cigar. Oh, you better it step really, in. Really Let's is. go. Just go ahead. I've been listening to you all month, yeah. and I noticed that all of the really, San Latano, all of the San Latano cigars that you tasted this month, yeah, you noticed a chocolatey flavor. Yes. You yeah. said it every time. Common. Yes. Common. So it's a, it's a, it's an element of his blending that right. really hits you a certain way. Yes, it does. Do you think it's the Nicaraguan? <laughs> Scott? <laughs> yeah. This is my favorite San Lofano. It's a, it's a fantastic cigar. I mean, they make a lot of great ones, but I, I think this is my favorite. A lot of spice, a lot of spice on the retro hail. Um, it's not, it doesn't linger a whole lot. It's there and then, it, then it's gone. Earthy, uh, I do agree with Rob. Uh, so either chocolatey or maybe even a roast espresso kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. um, and definitely earthy. Well, I'm getting less spice on the retro hail. It's definitely smoothed out. It's a little powerful cigar. Mm -hmm. uh, For today's standards, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a nice chocolatey taste and a pretty nice sweet finish on it. Um, I really like this cigar. How much are these things? Uh, these are it's like seven, eighty, seven, eighty wow. something like that. So exactly. that's very affordable. Yeah, this, uh, is, this is a, a reasonably size. priced cigar. We have yeah. always done really well with these. Yes. I know. So Ever since we brought them in. Oh, All right, it, it's, it's now time to put a number on it. Uh, I'm going to go with the 9.25. Wow. Well, I'm right there, 9.25. I'm going 8.5. Uh, 8.75. Wow. All right. Well, there's nothing wrong with that number. No, it's a great number. Yeah, I just don't think it's a yeah. 9. I'm going to give it a 9. Okay. I really, Even though it's a little stronger than I would normally smoke, it's a really good cigar. You know, this really, cigar is really always good. a surprise to me. Because I smoke through the whole San Latano line all the time. Right? Yeah. Because I, I like all. You know, I smoke this cigar on the golf course all the time. And and I tend to lose this one in the shuffle because there's new things yeah. and different right. things. Yeah, yeah. And every time I come back to this cigar, I'm just pleasantly surprised at how good yeah. it is. Right. That's exactly. Sad. Well, I really I really like the fact that they've joined our sponsor list, and we really appreciate our dealings with them. We've been with them, practically the San Latano line anyway since the beginning yeah. Yeah. so yeah. so oh boy we're out of time guys so you know time wow. to start wrapping it up life's too short to smoke cheap cigars hi mom support your uh, local brick and mortar thank yes. you absolutely and be sure to smoke often and smoke happy bye bye for now life's too short to keep relighting good cigars oh mm -hmm. right. that's better that's better ciao for now everybody <laughs> as always we've enjoyed bringing these shows to you uh, we really appreciate the business you brought to us, and we will continue to strive to be worthy of your business. And again, support your local brick and mortar as well. And brick we'll and see mortar. you. We'll see you next Tuesday night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.